Hello. Today we are going to add a dynamic light to the thunder strike. So we see the reflection on the ground when the thunder strike happens uh, as the rain starts. So let's wait a second. So as you can see now the sky is getting darker and it will start raining shortly with uh, thunder strikes. So yeah, see. Now as we get the thunder strike, we can see there is a quick reflection on the ground that represent the light that coming from the thunder strike. And that's what we are going to work on today. Alright, so in a while, rain will be cleared and thunder strike will also stop as the rain is cleared. Let me speed up a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. Now it's all clear. Before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects I have done in my channel from the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access uh, everything without any limits. So feel free to check it out. And here is the full playlist of this rain thunder system. Here I have shown how to create this particle, how to create the particle for the thunder, and this puddles droplets, splashes, everything is covered here. So I'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description below. And now let's get back to today's episode. So in the current system, when it starts raining uh, or thunder, we don't really have a light thing, light source. It's just a plane of thunder as you can see in the distance it just the texture but we don't really make a, a dynamic light that actually coming from the direction of where the lightning happens and that's what I want to do today we need to see some the real light okay for that I'm gonna do rain thunder do it and here let's add this and we need to adjust this adjust the intensity of this so to test this let me switch to a darker ambience so we can see that yeah. you can see spotlight we just added let me do some angle like this and let's uh, modify this one. thing is I'm gonna make this this let's set to 80 and to form we don't really see anything change right now so Use this one, disable this one. Yeah, see, now we start getting the light. Let's do some further modifications. Let's set the soft source radius like 10. Okay, let's reduce the diffuse scale like 0.2. We don't see much of a difference here, but when it starts raining, this uh, surface is going to be wet. So we should see more highlights compared to what we see here right now. And I don't think we need shadows actually, but we are going to only going to see this for like a fraction of a second. 
in the exact moment where the lighting spikes. Okay, now go here by default. This should be set to invisible. Set it to visibility. No visibility. Disable visibility. And the lighting happens here. Yeah, let's try. Now in this relocate section, what I do is change in the location of this uh, thunder plane, which renders the lighting texture, thunderbolt texture. Here, let's relocate the light source as well. Get the spotlight. And so the light should be looking at the directly at the player camera from the direction where the light in strike happens. So Also, we can use uh, so we are uh, changing this. We are not changing the thunder plane location, we are changing the actor location. So we can then. So, as for the location here, uh, the attenuation radius is 5000. So, maybe we should place the light about 4,000 units away from the camera. So, it can wait. Location of the actor. This bit. So here let's get this eight percent of this and then to get the actual location of the camera yes this to to get it would be the new location as for the rotation the light should be looking at the camera from this location towards the camera location. So from the new location towards the camera location. So that means find the camera. Like this. Okay. So this timeline is where I make the thunder strike appear and disappear. Yeah. So if I go here, you can see it's it's only 0.88 seconds. Okay. So here we can access. value say if this is larger than let's say maybe because as I said we only need to see the light for like a fraction of a second that's we only need to do this for once first try so let's try to do once not Light so visible visibility to go. And let's have a delay. One second. And 
ってと、ね、ちょっと、ちはい。Yeah, the rain will be cleared out. This is all I want to do for this episode. So, thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download. In the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.